The next thing I want to discuss is be moisturized. Now this is just a um, everyday moisturizer for coily hair, for 4C hair, for dreads. It redefines. Actually, I have a product called Be Defined, and I took it off of my website because this moisturizer defines by itself. So it's defining and moisturizing the hair, and it leaves a really good scent in the head. You know, a lot of times, you know, you have that hair, and since you have natural hair, you have that hair smell like when you don't have um, anything in your head. But this particular scent lasts and lingers a long time and so it allows your hair to always smell good like real like real good like real citrusy type real natural type scent anyway the purpose that would inspire me once again to do this here is because i wanted my hair to be moisturized for when i went natural and i was working with hair already because my boys when they first went natural i was twisting their hair I was twisting it and I was trying to find a thing that was going to define their curl even while I was twisting it. I was really, really getting inside of there. Now this particular product has um, horsetail and needle inside of it too, which allows the, the hair to grow. Just like the growth oil, yeah, the proprietary blend of herbs in here is going to make your hair grow. Whether you're choosing to be lengthy, be longer or the be moisturized your hair will begin to grow because the herbs are going to be helping that and the ph balance of it being that it's touching your skin and opening up them pores and them hair follicles again now your skin finally in balance from using commercial soaps that had your hair out of line because it was too alkaline it was too stripping of your oils and it was too acidic i mean and it was too alkaline and your skin is supposed to be slightly acidic so just be mindful of the, you know, soaps that you're using and how to pH test your soaps. Because if you, you know, really like your particular soap, you can get a pH like litmus um, papers, sud it up, put it, you know, in sud and put that paper next to it to check your, yes, I am vegan, to check the pH of your soap to make sure what, what um, line is in. I can tell you now, I done checked almost all of them. That's why I created my own soap. All of them out of whack. Like, dial is up there like a nine. You probably I'm sorry about that. I got a message. Like, dial soap, that's up there like a nine. That black African soap is way up there too alkaline. And so, it it those soaps, you really almost have to know <laughs> chemistry to, to kind of like... Bring it back down to the proper pH balance of your skin. If not, it's destroying the outer layer of your skin, right?